In this video, we're going to go over how to link an M3 to a data to desktop website using satellite communications. The first thing to know is that a satellite is geostationary, so it's always in the same place in the sky. We are given the pointing information, which is 346.8 degrees in the direction and 49.4 degrees elevation. So the next thing I'll do is go on Google Maps and find the place where I want to install the satellite. So say we're doing it somewhere around this house. The map is oriented with north at the top, so the, the top of the map is a zero degrees. So if we want to go 347 degrees, it will go from zero all the way around to 347. So it's going to be somewhere in this direction here. So if I draw a line at, at 347 degrees, we start at 90 and we're going to go all the way to 103 degrees. So this gives us the direction that we need to point the satellite in. So we know it's going to have to be mounted on this side of the house and we're going to, we can use the trees, for example, as a landmark to point the satellite towards. And this will give us a, f a good starting point when we now have to set up the satellite on the site. Once you know where the antenna needs to be, be installed, mount it on its bracket and point it more or less in the direction that it needs to go. So what I've done here is I've used some landmarks and I know roughly which direction it needs to be pointing to. I've then used the bracket to set the elevation to roughly 49 degrees and so I know that's going to be pretty close to the final position. Plug in the antenna cable to the antenna or what they call the outdoor unit. And we're going to plug in the other side of the antenna connector to the indoor unit, the RDU. Okay, connected 12 or 24 volts to the power terminals and an ethernet cable between the indoor unit and a laptop. This we're gonna use to check the signal strength while we're doing the setup of the antenna. On the other side of the indoor unit, I'm going to plug in a set of earphones into the earphone jack, which we're going to use to set the, the position of the antenna. So what this unit will do is it will beep at a different frequency according to how close we are to the satellite, to the right direction. So the more frequent the tone that it emits, the closer we are to the final position. Once all the connections are done, we can now switch on the power to the indoor unit. So the unit will take a couple of seconds to get started. And then when the power LED starts flashing, as it is flashing at the moment, we're going to push a function button once. This will put the device into the pointing configuration, which is going to help us set the direction of the antenna. Okay, so now on your earphones, or as I've got set up over here, this small speaker, you're going to hear this beeping noise. And the more frequent the beeping, the better position the antenna is. So what we're going to do now is move the antenna and listen to the beeping to help us position the antenna in the right place. As I move the antenna, the frequency of the, the beeping changes. So what we want to do is just set it 
to whether it's the most frequent. So we change the elevation and the direction until we get the most frequent sound. If you point your browser to the following address 192.168.128.100 you get the status telling you that we're in this pointing mode and what the signal strength is. So using the beeping as well as this indication of the signal strength you position the antenna to the best possible location to get the maximum signal strength. Once we're happy that we got the, the right signal strength, the maximum we can set it to, we then cycle power on the indoor unit. And this will now take the unit off that pointing mode. The beeping will stop and it will actually start initializing and looking for the satellite. So this step should take a couple of seconds and it should be able to connect to the satellite network. Okay, here we go. So now it's got a 3G, uh, 3D GPS fix, still busy registering. Okay, so now we registered. So at this stage, the unit should be good to send data. The one important thing is that the signal strength should always be greater than 67. But in my experience, I can't get the signal strength as high while I'm in pointing mode. So while I'm in pointing mode, I get it as high as possible. But I find once the device connects to the network, the signal strength jumps up. And as long as it's over 60, it should be good to send data over the network. The last step is now to take the cable that was the Ethernet cable that was plugged into our computer coming from the satellite indoor unit and we're going to plug it into the M3. Okay, then we're going to go on the HMI. We're going to make sure that the the unit is set to use the satellite modem. So we're going to go settings, web settings and change the port from GSM to satellite. So we do that by just holding down the button and we set that to satellite. Then we can go to help, web status, and we can click on send update now. And you'll see that the unit's sending to the host, waiting for a reply. And now it says successful. So it's sent, it's got two good replies from the website, so it's sent it back at using the satellite.